Greetings, I am Vishesh Jha, a Solutions Architect here at Amazon Web Services. And in this video, I'll be talking about Amazon Transcribe, specifically its capabilities around content identification and redaction. Amazon Transcribe has numerous features to enhance its speech to text service. It supports streaming or batch transcription of audio and video inputs. It enables easy to read transcripts complete with things like punctuation, number normalization, timestamps, and speaker labels. It also provides customers with the ability to customize transcriptions or utilize use case specific APIs like Transcribe Call Analytics. But today we're going to focus on Transcribe's capabilities around safety and privacy. Ensuring customer privacy and safety is critical. Amazon Transcribe enables you to mask or remove words that are sensitive or unsuitable for your audience from transcription results. This can be achieved in two ways, vocabulary filtering or automatic content reduction. In this video, we'll be focusing on the latter. Amazon Transcribe can help customers identify and redact sensitive personally identifiable information or PII for short form from transcripts in the supported languages. This provides customers with a toolkit to protect sensitive user data and comply with local privacy laws and regulations. Amazon Transcribe's deep learning engine generates a conference value for the identified PII. Let's dive into the demo to see this in action. I've logged into my AWS account and opened up Amazon Transcribe's console in my browser. Now let's explore this feature with respect to real-time transcriptions. For that, we navigate to the real-time transcriptions page from the hamburger menu. Before transcribing my audio stream, I will enable PII identification and redaction under the content removal settings. Under this, we can customize our streaming transcriptions by selecting whether we want to just identify or identify and redact PII data. Along with that, I can specify exactly what type of PII I want identified or redacted. This is especially useful in financial use cases where organizations want to protect social security numbers and account details, but want to use names and email addresses to update CRM user profiles. For this demo, I will go with identification only and leave PII entity types checked for select all. Now I'll start speaking a bunch of lines that contain PII into the stream. Hello. My name is John Smith. I live at 999 ABC Street, XYZ, Virginia. My phone number is 999-888-7777. My email address is employee at amazon.com. My social security number is 123-456789. And finally, my credit card number is 6543-6543-6543-6543. And the expiry is 07-2021. The CVV code is 210. As you see here, Amazon Transcribe did a very good job of recognizing the speech and converting it to text. Along with that, it highlighted the PII data and also classified what type of PII it was, be it names, physical addresses, phone numbers, email addresses, social security numbers, and financial details such as credit card or debit card numbers, its expiration date, and CVV codes. Another thing I would also like to point out is that Amazon Transcribe provides conference values about the identification, which can range from zero to one. You can use the download full transcript button to obtain a comprehensive JSON, which would contain additional metadata about the transcription. This can be very useful when integrating this feature programmatically into your applications. Now we'll see how we can redact PII data in batch transcriptions. So let's go to the transcription jobs page by clicking the same from the left hamburger menu. We then click on create job button and give this job a name. I'll leave rest of the settings to their defaults. For the input data, I've already recorded a sample file and uploaded it to an S3 bucket in my AWS account. I will go ahead and paste its S3 URI. After that, I'll hit next. Here, I'll enable automatic content reduction. And under that, I'll also check the box for include unredacted transcript in job output. We are done configuring our transcription job and we can now create the job. The job will take a few minutes to complete so let's fast forward to when it's complete. Voila, our job is complete and we can check our output. We can see in this preview that the identified PII data has been replaced by the PII tag. 
we can also download the full redacted or unredacted transcript from the button right here. This would be a JSON file which will contain additional metadata about the transcription. This wraps up our demo for today. For more details, please refer to the following pages. Thank you.